Despite all the hours in the pool, the results have been disappointing for Moss Burmester. My racing recently hasn't been going terribly well. Just a few things that haven't quite gelled together yet, so I've been working on those. And so hopefully, you know, I, I swim a lot better at pan packs. One of the things Burmester has struggled with is the banning of the full-length swimsuits. The 29-year-old has worn them for most of his career and says he's found it difficult to adjust, both physically and psychologically. I think a lot of it, you know, you tend to put, it's like shaving down, you put the suit on and you know it's kind of special so it'll get you up for it. Um, so I guess now you've just got to, you know, the shave down will be that sort of, will ignite that. Burmester's also had a change of coach. He's now under the guidance of national coach Mark Regan. It's only happened over the last four weeks, I suppose. So there's a little bit of a honeymoon period, we probably call it. But he's getting better, he's improving. Um, the motivation now is he wants to repeat what he did four years ago at the Commonwealth Games, so that's the main goal. Burmester won the 200 fly in Melbourne and took bronze in the 100. He'll only race the 200 in Delhi, and while he admits he won't be the favourite, he believes he can defend his title. It's going to be tough. But, um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't go into a competition not thinking that, you know, if you do that, then straight away you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So, you know, always go in there aiming to do the best that I can go. While the motivation is still there, Burmist is not sure what his long-term future holds. I guess depending on how I go in Delhi will help me decide whether I go for London. If I do go for London, that'll probably be it for me. Whatever Moss decides after Commonwealth Games, I want him to have no regrets. I just want him to get up there and give it his best shot exactly what Burmester is aiming to do.